Hey everybody, Max Monty 1516 here, back again with another Countdown to Christmas review. So, today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of different troublesome trucks from different years. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Up first, we're going to be taking a look at the elusive 1992-1993 troublesome truck. But, of course, this one is more commonly known as the white face troublesome truck. As you can see, right there from the front, the troublesome truck's face is printed in white. Now, this item has a very elusive history. Many have called it the rarest wooden rally item, and that's not true, <laughs> quite blatantly. However, this item has quite the reputation nowadays, and it does pull thousands and thousands of dollars online. So, I am very, very proud to still own this item, despite it not quite living up to many's expectations. Now, uh, just uh, to begin, I mean, the troublesome truck... What else can I really say about this thing? It's one of the most simple, might be the most simple wooden railway item of all time. So as you can see here, right on the front there, is the face. And this is just based off of one of the truck's uh, laughing faces from season two. And then moving on to the side here, I mean, it is literally just a cube of wood with um, a, an empty spot here. There's no cargo for these, which is kind of sad. I wish there was. But um, unfortunately, nothing like that. There's really not much that'll fit in here, unfortunately, except for those weird triangular pieces that fit in certain trucks. Uh, those will fit in here pretty well. But other than that, there's not much. Now, moving on, um, on the side here, the truck just actually has these like carved out bits of wood here to make it look like paneling. And I do like this detail quite a lot. It adds it adds a lot to the model, I think. And then there is nothing on the back here. And of course, the same wood paneling on the other side. Now, Troublesome truck also, of course, has flat magnets, staples, and thin wheels, and this thing is undated, and yeah, mine's from like 1993, early 1993, I'm guessing, but this truck, again, was was barely sold, um, that's why many people consider it to be so rare, and uh, from what I've heard, there are like a few hundred out there, maybe three or four hundred, uh, that's at least the most common consensus I've heard. But yeah, the troublesome truck here, the white face troublesome truck, is still just an item I am really, really honored to own. So I'm, mean, I'm really glad I could finally bring this to YouTube. So yeah, that is the white face troublesome truck, and I really never thought I'd be saying that because I mean I've, I've wanted one of these since I was little, and now that I'm here holding this item, uh, right there on the camera on my YouTube channel, it, it means a lot to me, and I'm just really, really happy to have this one. But that is far from the only troublesome truck we're going to take a look at. So let's go ahead and move on. Now, right after the white face troublesome truck was replaced, it was replaced by what is most commonly known as the gray face troublesome truck. And as you can see uh, right here where it clearly gets its name, this is just a stencil instead of like a, a fully printed stamp. So as you can see there, um, again, it's I think it's meant to be like based off the same face mask. It, it looks like it to me, except this one is much more stylized. And the longer you look at it, the more creepy it gets. So, yeah, I mean, I've never been too big of a fan of how the face looks on this model. But it is, it's the same exact build, basically. I mean, these things are practically identical, except the gray face troublesome truck is just a darker shade of gray. If my camera would focus, that would be awesome. There we go. But anyway, um, again, like, you can barely tell. Like, if you didn't know the white face troublesome truck was meant to be a lighter shade of gray, you couldn't even tell the two apart. So, yeah, and of course... Um, this model of the Troublesome Truck was introduced in early 1994, and this lasted, at least singularly, until 1999. However, you could also get it up until 2001, because it was sold in certain sets and packs. But yeah, the great Troublesome Truck again, it is arguably just as iconic, because pretty much everybody has one of these. I mean, they're extremely common, and again, they are like a, just a really cool item still. Uh, I love the simplicity of these. It, it, I mean, we'd never get something like this today, and that's kind of the reason I love them so much. But yeah, the Great Troublesome Truck is definitely a favorite item of mine. As you can see, I have four of them now, and I only recently got the other three, but um, I have wanted more uh, ever since I was little. As you can see here, this is the most play-worn one, and this is the one I've had since childhood. And then, of course, I just uh, obtained the other three later, or actually just earlier in the year. So now I do have four Great Face Troublesome Trucks. And this is the first time I've showed the other three on my channel, so there they are. And so after 2001, when the Greyface Troublesome Truck was discontinued, we didn't see the Troublesome Trucks in the Wooden Railway line for a few years. That was, of course, until the year 2006, where we got the Giggling Troublesome Trucks 2-pack. Now, these are much more accurate to what you see 
in the current show. And they actually do have cargo as well. So this, of course, is the actual giggling troublesome truck. And basically the whole gimmick here is that it would have batteries and you press down on the tarp and it would play the laughing sound from the show. Uh, unfortunately, mine doesn't work anymore. These batteries have corroded and um, I just never got around to removing them. And the battery cover fell off as well when I was little. I don't know what happened to that. But anyway, I mean, I still have the truck here. It still functions fine, like, as a truck. And it has the same sort of effect as Rickety here, where um, it would have, like, the little tab on the back of the wheel there. And as you roll the wheel, it knocks right there into this little tab here. And it causes the truck to rock back and forth on its chassis. It's actually, again, a really cool design. I did talk about that more in depth in the Rickety review I did a couple days ago. So if you want to go check that out, um, I'm, I'm not saying no. Anyway, uh, looking at the face there, this is really accurate. I mean, this looks this looks like something they had taken right out of the show. I love it. And then, of course, we also have a second troublesome truck here. This is the ballast truck. And again, I mean, this troublesome truck looks exactly like we saw on the show. Uh, again, like the face here, really accurate. This one has a ballast load. Unfortunately, it's not removable, but still. And this one is a lot more used to what we're seeing. It's very similar to Rickety, once again, just the way it's built and everything. Except this time, it rocks from side to side. It's got the same, like, like sort of idea as the Giggling Troublesome Truck does. Except, once again, uh, it just knocks from side to side based on the way the chassis is cut. As you can see there, it'll just do, do that back and forth. Again, it's a, it's a really unique design. I like that a lot. And overall, I mean, these two, tro these two troublesome trucks are still very iconic, and I uh, definitely still have a really soft spot for them. Now, Learning Curve actually made the troublesome trucks all the way up until when they were bought out, and Mattel actually continued making the giggling troublesome trucks up until 2017, when the wooden railway line ended. Now, uh, looking at these, they're just a slight downgrade, to be honest, and it's because of the faces. I think the CGI faces are way too babyish. And it's one of the few instances where a CGI face genuinely, like, damages a model instead of enhancing it. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I mean, these are still pretty much the same exact model, except just, again, with different faces. But honestly, I can really look past the faces, because they're not too big of a deal. And especially, like, when I have something as good as this to compare it to, it, it doesn't look that bad. So, anyway, moving on, uh, basically, the trucks are pretty much the same here. Uh, they, I mean, they look almost identical from every other angle except the face. But yeah, I mean, I mean, just look at that. So, fortunately, this one actually works. So, so yeah, uh, this one actually has a working speaker. And yeah, it sounds like the trucks from the CGI series, which does make sense. And of course, um, they both have the same, like, rocking gimmick and everything. Just like that. And then I'll show you again with the Mattel Troublesome truck. Just like that as well. So again, not too much else to say here. They're pretty much the same model once again. But I thought I would include them. While it is sad the original wooden railway line ended back in 2017, we can rejoice because 2022 brought us two more troublesome trucks. Now I'm only very briefly going to cover these, and it's mainly because I already did a review on both of these back when they first came out over the summer. So I'm going to keep it brief with these. Anyway, the first one is the troublesome truck with crates, as you can see right there. It just says troublesome truck on the bottom though. And um, again, it just has an, a non-removable crate load up there, as you can see. Very nice wood texturing on the side. Uh, of course, also has a lot of wood paneling here. Pretty much the same detail as the other Troublesome Trucks. Just a bit more uh, spice to it, I guess I could say. Because now you can see all the rivets and stuff. There's like um, different shades in the wood paneling. It's very nicely executed, I think. And then this is how you do a CGI truck face. I mean, this is a lot better. It's more expressive. And the other one, too. I mean, just look at that. These are both uh, honestly really good. They, they, they fit in a lot better with the style that Wooden Railway 2.0 is going with. And speaking of the second truck, this is the Troublesome Truck with Paint. And again, I mean, it's the same uh, base model, except the cargo is different here. This time with um, with uh, the, like a bunch of cans that are being knocked over. And then there's some yellow paint splashing onto the side. This truck also has a little um, banner hanging on the side there. And it's also got like a little barrel of paint there, as you can see as well. But anyway, that's pretty much it for these two. I don't really, again, want to go too much into them, mainly because, again, the review is already up. So you can go and check that out if you want more detail on these two. But again, that's that's pretty much it uh, for the Troublesome Trucks. There's definitely a lot of them out there. So uh, take your pick in the comments below. But that's that's it for me. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Maximalty1516 signing out.